Evening tubers, King Grimlock back once again for another Grim Grim and first off, as ever, a little bit of housekeeping. Firstly, there are now 99 of you. I'm on the verge of the 100 subscribers mark and I thank each and every one of you for coming along for the ride. Um, I can't believe that 100 of you actually watched this dirge that I churn out. Um, so it's much appreciated to be honest. Um, each and every one of you, all of you, mean the world to me. Thanks guys, really, really means something. Uh, this is... Almost, you'd say, part two of my Universe Legends Henke uh, Teams uh, review. A lot of you guys have been requesting that I look at the other guys as well, um, because they were so few and far between. The um, the shipping on them was very poor, um, both sides of the Atlantic. Um, these are the Universe versions, not the Henke ones, um, as you can tell. I'll explain that in a minute. Yeah. So this is for all of you, really, uh, for all nine, nine of you, for, and especially for the ones that are, uh, have been requesting to have a closer look at some of these little guys. So tonight we have Beachcomber, Bumblebee, and Brawn, the three Bs. Uh, these were from the Wave 1 of the Universe Legends line. They came with their fourth member, which was an animated Starscream legend. Um, yeah, go figure, didn't really fit. These guys also, uh, with different colour schemes, made up the Henke... Assault team, um, as I described in the last video, uh, you know, with Beachcomber was more of a G1 colour, even though his colouring is excellent. Braun was more of the uh, mottled olive green that he is in G1, um, and Bumblebee got turned into Cliff Jumper because in Japan they never got the classics deluxe of Cliff Jumper, and they had a classic deluxe Bumblebee, so he got turned into Cliff Jumper. Um, I personally refer to this guy as Hubcap um, because I have a universe um, Bumblebee. And he's not quite a bumblebee to me. He looks nice, he's very... But we'll get into that, shall we? Because that's part of a review. So let's start off, as we always do, with Beachcomber. Beachcomber is, of course, the peacenik of the um, Autobots. He is a non-violent... I, I, I try not to use the phrase druggy, hippie, um, loser, bum. But he is. Um... And he's here represented in a updated version of his mini bot um, beach buggy mode. And first thing to see for a peacenik, he has a gun. Big mistake, Hasbro. That shouldn't have been on there. Um, should have just been funk. Just with the spare wheel, that would looked fine to me. Um, it's a nice little figure. It's not. It's not great. It's got some suspension detailing on the uh, the side. Doesn't look too bad. On the other side, unfortunately, we do just have a robot minus his head, um, and you can see straight through him as well. He's not the greatest um, alt mode at all. It's not bad. It's some nice detailing on it, and it's a nice update. But in all honesty. It's not not anywhere near any of the other three that you saw last week, if you watched the last review. Um, in fact, I would go as far as to say all of these aren't as good as those last three. Secondly, Braun, I know a lot of you have been looking to get a review of Braun out. Um, first and foremost, you notice that it's detailed, the same as his original one. It's got some nice detail. It's got, you know, rolling wheels, it's all lovely. Uh, but he's got this big open patch, which on his back which I think is supposed to look like a roof rack or something but you know get some grey detailing around the edges if you're going to do that um, his back windows aren't uh, painted in the lights aren't painted in on the back either this just reeks of laziness really they haven't finished the job they started there's some lovely moulded detail on it but they just haven't finished the paint job I mean door handles you know you've got um, indicators and reversing lights and just none of it's been painted and then you have Visible head, visible hand, visible feet. It's a lazy, lazy figure. The head mode's brilliant. It's beautiful. Um, so is the chest, but alt mode is very, very disappointing, to be honest with you. And on to Bumblebee. Hubcap, cliff jumper, if you're going for the Japanese version. Um, it's a Bumblebee. It's quite nice. It's well put together. Out of these three, this is the best of the alt modes, without a doubt. It's the most detailed. Um, they've painted the details. I personally love these little areas of black here. You'll see what they're for um, in, once he's transformed, but it kind of looks like the stripes from the movie-verse, um, or the animated one, which I quite like. Lovely little Autobot symbol on the top. Only one that is showing his Autobot symbol in uh, his alt mode. You'll see why again. But, you know, they've filled in the detail. Um, they've filled, filled in all the areas, paint apps. It's not as detailed as either of these, especially not Braun, but 
they filled it in. You know, he's got real windows. He's got everything that's been sculpted has been painted, and that's what it should be. Really, the designers have obviously gone to a lot of trouble to sculpt it, guys. Finish the bloody job off for him. On the underside, you have very little robot kibble. Um, you got the legs there. You can just make out the hands in there as well. But realistically, you know. It, it's a competent little thing, his knees hang out a little bit underneath, but very competent little bot. Um, as I said, none of these for me are any better than the uh, three that I reviewed on Friday, stroke, Saturday. Robots! And here we have Universe Legends Wave 1, stroke Henke Assault Team, in their robot modes. Uh, and there we are, the three boys. Uh, overall first impressions are they're very nice they're very good representations of their G1 selves what more could you want really um, you know let's look at beach camera. the head sculpt is beautiful the chest detailing is lovely the paint apps have been filled in he has a ball joint at the hip he has bendy knees he has a ball joint and a slight swivel at the shoulder you know articulated for a legend again brilliant uh, my biggest problem is, to be honest, in this review, that I am comparing them to the Spy Team. If I was comparing them to the um, movie legends, again, these guys would walk all over them. You know, some beautiful detailing. Uh, sculpted in the arms. Because he hasn't got windows, this doesn't look too badly like Kibble. The transformation for the feet is brilliant. They're actually his seats in his vehicle mode. Um... Tiny, tiny guys are going to be driving these vehicles, I tell you. <laughs> you know, these are mini, mini vehicles. But, uh, back kibble, very little. Just that stupid gun that if it was missing, Hasbro. Oh, look. Uh, <laughs> no kibble at all. Fantastic. I love this guy. I absolutely adore Beachcomber in his vehicle, in his um, robot mode. To be honest, this is one of my favourite legends of all time. I think he looks gorgeous in this mode. Um, I think it does have something to do with his G1 colours are almost accurate as well, but they've put a lot of detail into him. Brawn, again, the chest sculpt and the head sculpt are immense. Uh, could have done with the face being the right colour. Um, you know, the fact they've taken the effort to paint, not brilliantly, the, the arms. I mean, there's patches all over it where the paint app is poor. Um, again, you've got the swivel at the hip, you've got the knee joint. Strangely, the knee joint bends backwards but not forwards. Um, those are massive feet you could see in vehicle mode are also present. These shoulders joints here are notoriously snappable. Um, you can't bend the arm up at all. I know someone who bought one of these and snapped it the day he got it. Literally out of the pack transformed it, snapped dead. Um, so careful if you do pick it up. Unfortunately, Braun suffers from a vast amount of of back kibble. Um, he does have the overhead like he did in Generation 1. Um, ignore the back and you've got an exceptionally good representation of Generation 1 brawn. Ignore the alt mode and you've got a brilliant representation of Generation 1 brawn. Needs different paint apps to be honest. That face needs to be sorted out. That's what the Henke version's for. Finally, Bumblebee, Huffer, no, Hubcap, uh, Cliff Jumper if you've got the red one is the best vehicle, best alt mode, but probably the worst robot out of the three. His jointing is at the ankle. He has these massive, massive feet. Um, that, that's that black bit there, as you can see. If I rotate that back around where that thing is, uh, the stripes, so it's actually part of his ankle. He has no knee bend. It actually bends backwards, um, but he does have ball joint hips. He's also got a second joint at the hip, part of the transformation. Um, there's that Autobot symbol on his chest, as they've all got, which was apparent in his vehicle mode. The arms do 360, but they don't go really anything but, again, a bit of painted detail on the inside, a little bit messily done. The head sculpt isn't too bad at all, not really Bumblebee for me though, hence my renaming, stroke repurposing to give it the Hasbro term. Uh, probably, I'm told it's not going to be the Hasbro term now, it's something else. But um, As I say, probably the weakest of the three, the, definitely the weakest of the six in his robot mode. Um... Disappointing, actually, because he's probably got one of the nicer alt modes out of these three guys. So, overall, what do we have? We have three um, Legend Class figures, all with one decent mode, really, between them. Bumblebee is best in his alt mode. These two boys are best in their robot modes. They're the most accurate representations of the Generation 1 figures um, that you're going to get. Personally, if I was going to get them again, I would get the Henke ones. Um, sack off the Bumblebee, repurpose the red cliff jumper as wind charger or 
one of them because the Generation 1 accurate paint schemes and the fact that the Japanese, the sorry, Takara Tomi put a lot more effort into doing the detailing on their paintwork and making the paintwork look immaculate would really add to these guys an extra step. For me, Beachcomber is the only one of these that is an utter 100% success in his robot mode, paint apps and the like. And even then, he has a glaring, emission, a glaring inclusion of having a gun, which for Beachcomber is completely out of character. If you're going to pick them up, get the Henkies. They are still available. You are looking for the Henky Assault Team. Bloody 